Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 3 Minute Thursdays where I try to give you some of the most up-to-date news in the doll hobby. Now as always I am your host Shizu-san and my lovely assistant today is the very beautiful Anastasia. So without further ado let's just start that countdown. So as always, let's start with some Dolphy Dream news. So there's only a few things to talk about right now. Really, I just wanna remind you guys that the uh, Doll Party LA4 after event is going to be coming soon. That's October 1st through October 10th. So remember, um, this is the event where Dolphy Dream Icon is going to be released as well as some new apparel and accessories. So if you are interested in that lottery and entering in for a Dolphy Dream Icon, make sure you check out Volks USA on October 1st through October 10th. Now, Volks USA is also hosting, in this picture here, the new uh, Dolphy Snap Challenge. So if you're not familiar with this, they did it, uh, I believe it was last year, around the same time, where, um, Basically, it's a competition where you submit a photo of your Dolphy Dream or Super Dolphy or what any any other uh, Dolphy product uh, in a certain theme, and the winner is going to be um, having their picture uh, put in the guest room in the Volks USA showroom. So that's uh, what they did last year. So this year, the theme is going to be uh, what's it called here? Uh, Dolphies and Ghouls, I think it's called. Uh, so it's definitely a Halloween theme. So all you got to do is take one of your Dolphies and take a Halloween themed picture and submit it to Volks USA. Now you got to go visit the website for all the instructions and everything that you need to do in order to submit as it will take a little bit of time uh, that I don't want to go too much into in this episode. So definitely check out Volks USA on Facebook um, and they have all the rules for the contest there. So as I stated below this year again or not below but before this year again the winners or winner is going to be picked and put it have their picture put in the guest room. Now, in addition to that, they decided this year they're gonna give out a small gift, which apparently is going to be a, um, a, a set of small felt pumpkins, which is also very Halloween themed. And um, you can win that as well if you are picked for your submission. So make sure you give out your submissions to Volks USA. The time period for this is going to be October 1st through October 25th. So if you do want to participate, make sure you get your pictures in within that time frame. So that really wraps up everything for Dolphy Dream News. There really isn't much going on this week. So let's just move on to the Smart Doll News stuff. So Danny Chu <laughs> has posted a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, so let's dive right into it. So first off, I want to announce in this picture here, or Danny Chu is announcing in this picture here, that a new Smart Doll um, Idol Master Cinderella Girl Shiki Ichinose now has a prototype that we can see. So he announced this like a couple months back and we only saw like a, a regular animated picture of her. So now we have an actual product that you could see and it was displayed last Sunday at Mirai Store Tokyo during their regular or um, I guess by monthly, I guess you could call it, um, outlets on Sundays. So she was on display, so a lot of people took pictures uh, to see her, but she is currently no longer on display because she's gonna be sent out to um, the productions uh, factory in order to be made. Now, ETA hasn't been announced um, for when her pre-orders are gonna come up, so we don't know that yet. All we know is that she is in her final stages and she's ready to be um, produced for the pre-order time. Uh, and just to give you another reference, here's another picture of her right next to uh, Mika. Both of them look really awesome. I do love how Shiki has that, um, what do you call it, like the pursed lips or like the, I don't know, the cat, is it the cat lips or something? No, I don't think it's the cat lips. Anyways, that smile, the one that they use for in, in like uh, text messages and stuff with the number three. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like so out of date with like all these like new things. Anyways, I like her face. I like her smile. Um, she definitely has that playful look, which is kind of like her personality. So definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, and just so you guys all know, remember that all these anime collaborated girls um, are going to be coming on the new Cortex body. So just know that. Now, um, after that, uh, what am I working on next? Uh, oh, 
Next up, so Danny Chu has posted in this picture here that Smart Doll Starlight is now back on the Smart Doll website. So if you haven't noticed, she was actually taken down for a little while and now she's brought right back up in both a vinyl and a cortex body. So you can choose either or. And she also does come with uh, new blue eyes. So if you can see here, it's, it's the navy blue eyes which is slightly different than the one she had prior. Uh, so if you are interested in Starlight and some of you that did notice that she was gone, don't fret, she is now back up on the website, but now in Cortex as well as Vinyl. Now, Danny Chu has posted in this picture here that Journey has now been released in the T color. And she is both released in the classic version and the alternate version. So obviously you can see from the differences here, it's gonna be closed mouth, open mouth. Now the classic one is going to be the, op uh, the closed mouth, sorry. And the classic one, once it sells out of the quantities that he has already made, it will be discontinued. So that's, I guess a good enough sign that the alternate version will stay around, um, but the classic one definitely is going to go out of production. Now also posted in the same picture here, you could see there, there, there is a Mirai in Coco. That is Mirai Cortex. So you can go on the website now, she is available right now to buy Mirai Cortex in Coco. So if you are interested in her, she's also available. Now, Danny Chu has also posted in this picture here that Spike from Cowboy Bebop, the anime collaborated doll, is going to be released within the first few days of October. Now, the exact days or time frame, we don't know yet. Make sure you hit the notify me button on his website page so that you'll get that email letting you know exactly when the time frame is going to be. But Spike will be released sometime soon. Actually, I do say sometime soon, but that's really only in a couple more days for the first couple of days of October. So if you are interested in Spike, uh, do make sure that you hit the notify me button so you get notified on the exact time frame and dates that he's going to be up for pre-order. Now, I did say before that the uh, Cortex girls are going to be, um, or the anime collaborated girls are going to be on Cortex body. Spike is different. Um, because obviously he's not a girl, but also he is not going to be on a cortex body. Uh, Danny hasn't really, um, he hasn't made a uh, cortex version of the guys yet. So whether or not that's actually coming, I don't know either. I have no idea if he's going to be making cortex males or not. I actually, honestly, I just never asked him. So I, <laughs> I don't know if the cortex males are coming, but Spike is going to be in vinyl. So if you are interested in Spike, make sure to hit that notify me button. Now, let's move on. What else do I got listed here? Oh, so Danny Chu also posted in that same post, there's like multiple pictures in there, but he also mentioned that the, um, what's it called? The lace, the lace up boots that he's posted, I think it was like last week in the three minute Thursdays, um, that he was gonna do uppers, like the upper cuffs. So he has posted in this picture here that he's working on a dark wine color for the upper cuffs, as well as a belt. Now we don't have a picture of what the belt will kind of look like, uh, but I'm assuming it's gonna be in that same color because that's the dark wine color. I'm actually really excited for that. Uh, I've been wanting like a belt in that typish color. So definitely looking forward to the release of that, but there is no ETA as they're both in the prototype stages. And then lastly, Danny Chu has posted in this picture here of the Sequoia jacket. Now, if you don't recognize this jacket, it has been posted on multiple different um, uh, tweets. Uh, I think throughout the summer when Danny went uh, traveling around, uh, you saw it on Mirai and Valiant, etc., etc. It's also a jacket that is modeled off from um, Maruka Hal Hello, am I saying that night right? Hello or hello? Marco, hello. I think it is on Twitter. Um, if you haven't heard of this um, individual, they make really, really awesome smart doll clothes. Uh, the cargo pants that Danny Chu sells um, was also modeled from her uh, designs. So this jacket is a really, really cool jacket. If you are interested in the jacket for smart doll, not only is it really awesome looking, it's well designed. So make sure you visit the smart doll website if you're interested in the Sequoia jacket. But that's really it. That wraps up today's episode of Three Minute Thursdays, even though it really wasn't three minutes long. As always, I am your host, Shizu-san, and my lovely assistant today is the very beautiful Anastasia. So make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also write a comment in the comment section down below about anything that you want to tell me. I'm always happy to communicate with all of you, the community out there. I'd like to hear your opinions on anything. So. 
do make sure to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below. Thank you everybody and we will see you in the next one.